You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Handing out supplies, like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They said what? Huh, that would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? King, we've got problems. Play it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. King just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already heard about what you did here. Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy it while it lasts. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking, a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty, so I'll tell you what. Just this once, aim whatever you want. If I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? She said, what? Why didn't she just say so when I was there? Actually, come to think of it, I was pretty angry when I went down there. I vaguely recall something about upending a few tables, maybe knocking out one of her doctors. Anyway, that's incredible news. Only thing is, there's too much going on around here for me to make a trip like that. And I need all of my guys just to keep things settled here. You seem to be awfully interested in my boy Rex here. And you've done some good work for me already. I'll tell you what. You promised to get Rexy here to that doctor, and I'll lend him to you. What do you say? I can't thank you enough. Now, there's a few things you should know about old Rex here if you're going to be traveling together. First, he hates rats. Can't stand the things. Giant rats, mole rats, doesn't matter. He catches a whiff of one, and he's off like a shot after him. 
He's normally pretty obedient, but you might have to chase him some if he goes after one of the little varmints. Second, he doesn't like hats or the people wearing them. Don't ask. I have no idea why. Maybe because it rhymes with rats. That should be it, though. Other than the occasional bad spot when his brain starts hurting him, that is. But I'm hoping you'll see to that. I wish you both luck. Take care of my Rex now, you hear? Rex, this is your new master. Protect him. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? Ask away. Whoa, that's a doozy. Truth be told, I don't even know if I can pull something like that off. Damn straight they will. It's some of the other locals that I'm worried about. On second thought, if I can whip this band of hooligans into obedience, a stray tough guy or two shouldn't be a problem. Okay, you've got a deal. No more violence against the NCR on my watch. But this makes us even, you hear? I trust you have something to report concerning the Freeside situation? Yes, do you have something to report? That's great to hear. He's got a lot of sway in Freeside, so we can expect a dramatic drop in violence soon. Now, you're probably wondering about your reward. This has been something of a hot-button topic, so I was able to secure this for you.
Well, I don't officially have access to any more funds, but here. This is from me personally. There's more coming your way, too. I've received a message from Colonel Moore up at Hoover Dam. She's been following your exploits and has requested that you meet with her. You're not officially in the employ of the NCR, so there's nothing forcing you to go. But I'd go see her sooner rather than later. The Colonel is not someone you want to keep waiting. Thank you.